One of our bucket list items in Japan was to spend the night in a capsule hotel. So before leaving Tokyo, we booked a night at 9 hours, a futuristic capsule hotel that pretty much looks like a spaceship. This pod hotel is located by Shin Okubo Station, right in the heart of Koreatown. And in this video, we're going to share the whole experience with you guys. So we are just waiting for the elevator now. The reception is surprisingly on the 8th floor. Not the 1st, the 8th. So up we go. The check-in process was simple and straightforward. We were each given a card with a QR code, which would act as our key for the duration of our stay. We checked out the views of our neighborhood and also learned that the capsules for men and women are on separate floors. Okay, so this is the part where Sam and I have to go our yep. separate ways. Different floors. Different floors for men and women. So I'm on the sixth floor. And I'm on the fourth. So. And yeah, I guess we'll each take our own camera yeah. and show you our own experience. Indeed. And we'll meet back here in a bit. I went up to the sixth floor to find my locker and store my belongings. All of the lockers have an overnight kit to make each guest stay at the capsule hotel a little more comfortable. A look inside the bag coming up soon. I also discovered that my suitcase was a little too plump for my locker, so some pushing and prodding ensued. So yeah, I was able to finally squeeze in the main suitcase. I feel like these lockers are designed for square, rectangular bags. And inside, I had this little bag already waiting for me. It looks like we have a towel, some slippers, and PJs. So we're gonna take a closer look and see what we actually got in this bag. It looks like we have slippers with the Nine Hours logo. Have a towel. We've got some PJs to put on. This is gonna be fun. And what else is there? What else is there? Ooh, okay, toothpaste, toothbrush, all set. And that is our kit for spending the night at a capsule hotel. Uh, so yeah, let's actually go check out my capsule. So before going into the dorm with all the capsules, we have to take off our shoes, put on slippers. So I'm all set. Even though it was the middle of the afternoon, I was ready to explore my pod. First up, a little stretch test to see just how much space there is in one of these capsules. Not bad, not bad. I definitely didn't feel claustrophobic in there, so that's a good start. So here's the guy's elevator. In I go. The fourth floor. Fourth floor I go. Oh, this is gonna be such an experience. Time to scan in. So I'm just given this card and apparently I just swipe it like this. Let's see if it works. <gasps> Open sesame. Open sesame. Wow. And inside here, look guys, I've got some kind of care package, which I'll show you fully in a bit. I have hangers. I have storage space down here for my bag and I have a spot for my shoes up here. Guys, not sure if my bag is gonna fit. Tried once, couldn't quite get it in there. So trying to unpack a bit and uh, see if I can jam it in. I had to put it in upside down, wow. It's time for me to get out of this into the official capsule hotel wardrobe. So apparently I go to the seventh floor to change. And here is the shower room. Let's check it out. Oh wow, look at that. So quick tour in here guys. My care pack, of course. I got my tripod, which I'm gonna hopefully get some shots from. My slippers, which I've yet to put on. My gear. <laughs> my hotel capsule gear. And last but not least, the shower. Shower head. Ooh, check that out. Different kinds of soaps and shampoos. That's pretty cool. Conditioner, another conditioner. That is a shampoo. And to adjust the water pressure and heat. Let's get changed. 
Check it out, a little short in the arms and on the legs. Look at that. <laughs> <sighs> it'll do though, it'll do. Time to check out the sleep pod. Shh. So here's my pod, 436. Whoa, look at that. So before I go in, I'm gonna give you a walking tour. Look at this. So these are the different room numbers. And you have lower level and upper level. This is crazy. Check out this, guys. into the capsule hotel we've had a snoop around um but it is like whisper quiet yes. in there i almost feel like we can't even speak basically so, everywhere there's signs to be quiet yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> so we're in koreatown we've decided to go out for korean food for dinner yeah so yeah we're gonna tell you a bit more about what we've seen and experienced over there Two kinds of cheeses, guys. Well, looks like we're ready to eat. We sure are. We ordered the exact same dish we had last time we were in Koreatown yep. because it is so good. So we're having shijo. That seems to be the Korean specialty in this neighborhood. Yeah. It's featured at most restaurants. So yeah, it's basically like a spicy chicken with lots of ooey gooey melted cheese and yeah. rice cakes and some veggies. So we, have we have two kinds of melted cheese here. We've got yes, mozzarella lots and cheddar. Of Show us how, how show us how big that, that cheese stretch is. Whoa! Look at that. Look at that. Yes. But anyways, this is not going to be a food video today. We actually want to talk about the capsule hotel where we're staying. Yeah. Um, and share some of our impressions so far. So yeah, first things first. It is so quiet, and there's already people sleeping in there in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah. Like we checked in at one o'clock. Yeah. And I went straight to my little capsule and some of the doors were already closed, like people were in there. So my first impressions were when I stepped into the sleeping quarters, the actual capsule area, I felt like I was on a rocket ship, a futuristic mm -hmm. rocket ship. Like those were the sleeping quarters on my spaceship. And the other thing that really surprised me too is I thought that the actual capsules would be smaller than what they were. Mm -hmm. Like they, I, I fit in it fairly well. Yeah. And I could sit up and like, you know, kind of move around a little bit, put my arms out like this. And so that really surprised me. I thought it was going to be a bit more like a coffin. like. To be oh my gosh, that'd you know be horrible. I mean? Yeah, but so it was a bit more spacious than I thought. And yeah. I have no idea what it's going to be like to sleep there overnight, if it's going to be noisy or quiet or what. And the other thing that I wanted to mention as well is that I've seen a few capsule hotels that have a lot of amenities in the capsule itself. Yeah. Kind of like... TVs, radio, headphones. Yeah, like kind of like, like a sauna and a spa areas as well, like bathing areas. Yeah, like some of them have the fancy spots. I'm being a little loud in this restaurant, all right. Um, but anyways, this one is quite basic. So you basically just have like a little shelf where you can rest your phone and they have a USB port where you can charge your phone. Yeah. But aside from that, there isn't a whole lot inside the capsule. Like you have your duvet, you have your pillow. Yeah. And that's about it. Um, but it seems comfy enough. Like I can stretch out. Um, so yeah, the test will be how well do we sleep tonight. But I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so we are back at the capsule hotel yeah. once again. My plan is to actually crawl into the pajamas they gave us and maybe do a bit of work on my computer. You. I'm crawling into the pajamas and I'm going to take a nap. All right. I got up at five to feed cats this morning, so I'm pretty tired, I Sam's have to say. Sam's been feeding stray cats. <laughs> <laughs> Local stray cat feeder. After dinner, we went back to the 8th floor, which aside from the reception also holds a lounge area. This is a communal area with seating space, a big shared table, and individual workstations where you can plug in and charge your electronics. 
We spent a bit of time here until it was time to go to bed on our separate floors. I went to the 6th floor, Sam went to the 4th, and by the looks of it, someone was still pretty amazed by the size of their capsule. The showers were also pretty nice. They had individual stalls complete with body wash, shampoo, and hair conditioner, so you didn't have to worry about pulling out your toiletries. And there were also enough stalls that you didn't even have to think about standing in line waiting for a shower to free up. And this is where you dispose of your slippers when your stay's over, and other garbage too. It is time to check out and why yes we are wearing the same clothes we had on yesterday because it's gonna be a sweaty travel day yeah. let's go down and just like that our stay at the nine hours Tokyo capsule hotel was over okay so it is time for final thoughts on our first and only capsule hotel yeah. experience what did you think how was your night yeah, because we were sleeping in different areas. I yeah. had a great sleep. I probably went to bed about 11, woke up at 5, and I slept continuously. I do have to say, when I woke up, I was noticing sounds, snoring. What kind of sound? Snoring. Uh, some some farting, some farting, a little bit of coughing. And so, yeah, it's kind of ha it kind of has a dorm kind of it atmosphere. It does, yes. Yeah. So, there wasn't any coughing or farting on my dorm, <laughs> but like there were lots of girls who were on their phones right before going to bed. So, like you could hear them chatting in different languages, you know, like a night, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it did take me a while to fall asleep just because when everyone's getting settled in the, into their bunks, it kind of like makes yours shift and shake yeah. a little, um, and you hear all the sounds. Uh, but yeah, I did sleep well. I slept all the way through till 7.30 in the morning when Sam texted me like, where are you? <laughs> are I, was you up, I was up much earlier than you. Overall, I would recommend staying in a capsule hotel, but I think just for one night, I don't think yes. you'd want to be in there for multiple nights. I would agree. I'd want to experience it once here in Japan, but I don't need to sleep in a capsule for a week or a month. No. Like, no way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Book a hotel or an apartment, something else. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.